But Moses on soul. There is no profit or gain in living to sin continually, but it will ruin and perfect your soul in suffering. Hell is the endless place created by God for Satan and for the demons to be tormented, but and also to be locked up permanently forever and ever. Hell is never designed or made for men just like you and I or for women this morning or for the boy or for a girl. Unless the person reject and trample the free offers of God's salvation through Jesus Christ. That's the only reason that you'll be thrown to that place. To be thrown in the most horrible place in this world. There is no more chance to see the light again and a chance to be free. The question is, how bad is the place of destiny for the rich man and for those who, reject, who rejected Christ? Now you can see the place of what they call hell, the fire is everlasting. The burning of the same physical body, being melted, then keep replenishing, replenishing, is endless, is burned and replenished. Seeing the description of this place of torment, suffering is forever and worms that never dies, and with people there that never die. If you can see in hell, there is no rest for the condemned soul in hell. Now, if the trillions of stars, and trillions of galaxy, in the atmosphere, in the, in the starry heavens, in one galaxy, we have trillions and trillions of stars, shall we say each star will, is going to burn out for 200 years, Sooner, all the vast numbers of stars, one day, the very last of it will be done. Even trillions of stars, if it will be burned in 200 years, one day it will be finished. But the soul in hell, in torment, is endless, wailing, is screaming, cursing, and shouting for the pain that is unbearable in gnashing of teeth. Mm. And a man who is just like a question you pastor, Pastor, how about this? I don't believe what you're preaching. I don't have any trip. All I have are gums. And the pastor responded, But my God shall supply all your needs. God can supply teeth to you, not his teeth. Eternal torment and hell has no spaces as minutes. There is no hours. There is no day. There are no days there. And there is no month. The book of Job says, For there is no more time. Recently, many miners were trapped underground in South America. They are waiting for many, many days to be rescued. It is suffocating. Just imagine being confined underground, buried 1,000 feet below, where there was not even a trace of light. It is so suffocating, and you can just imagine the indescribable shock that every minute and hours and days when you are there become useless. It is an endless suffering and pain and hell without an end. <laughs> Losing one soul is the most fearful thing to happen to anyone. The soul that is lost is never to be recovered again. Mm. No way to be redeemed. It is lost everlasting. It is the everlasting detachment or per permanently cut off from the presence of the Almighty God. The rich man asked the smallest favor. He knew it was the smallest favor request that maybe, probably, he might be granted for the smallest favor. Father Abraham, could you send Lazarus just to be the tip of his finger and cool my tongue because I was at a place of torment and agony. Remember, in hell, in the, uh, hell is a place that everything, everything good is lost. Even his, his small bush was denied. The rich man has the choice to live in sin and to serve God or to serve God. He served the last to satisfy himself while God is far, far away in his vocabulary. And that is my importance. People today plunge into many adventures into life of sin, fame and pride, enriching the unreachable. Christians are not exempted. Your choice to go to another road away from the close fellowship and intimate relationship with God as a penalty. God, because you'll be hurt, 
Your family and your loved ones will be hurt because of you being lukewarm and serving the Lord. Return to God, believers. Return to God, lukewarm. If you are not serving God today, Lord, have mercy on me. Commit your life to the Lord once again and ask God to forgive you and restore you and begin to serve Him because God is a God of mercy. Come back to Him. In verse 23, remember during your lifetime, you have everything you wanted. The rich man did not go to hell because he was rich, hmm. but because he walked a life where Christ is out. He turned his back completely from the Creator and the Savior of his soul and ignored the warning of the eternal punishment in hell. And verse 57, the rich man begged to send Lazarus to warn his five brothers. He knew all of them would come also to the place of torment. Father Abraham, could you send someone and visit my five brothers? Because I knew they're coming to my place of torment in hell. And Abraham said, Moses and all the prophets have warned them. Your brothers can read the writings anytime they want to. The rich man replied, Father Abraham, but if someone is sent to them from the dead, they will turn from their sins. And Abraham responded. And he replied, if they won't listen to Moses and to the prophets, they won't listen even if someone rises from the dead. The five brothers' response to the good news of Jesus Christ was fixed. They made up their minds not to listen to the invitation to eternal life. And they shut their ears to the truth of God. The rich man is still in hell and torment today, while Lazarus is rejoicing in the paradise today. You too must make a decision for your eternal destiny today before the closing of the meeting. I'm going to ask you today, as I ask your attention, to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life. You'll say, what must I do? First, you have to be eager to respond to the invitation God is offering you today. God is knocking to the door of your heart. If anyone, I'm knocking to the door, if anyone hear my voice and open the door, invite me to come in, I'll come in. You must be eager to respond right away. Second, you must know that the gift of Jesus Christ, eternal life, is free. It is to be rich today, like Lazarus rejoicing in heaven. Rejecting the gift of Jesus Christ, which is eternal life, is remembering the life of the rich man in hell, he has yet feelings, he got senses, and could see and hear. The soul in hell loses nothing of his ability to think and understand. I'll be asking many of you today to acknowledge Jesus Christ publicly. Now the Bible says, is there anyone that I cannot see him? Have I not feel heaven and earth, says the Lord? The eyes of the Lord is looking back and forth throughout the whole earth. To prove himself that he is strong and is looking for those who are really looking and loving him. And I pray that no one here this afternoon will resist and reject the calling of God to be saved. So I'll be asking you today that you acknowledge the Lord publicly. Why should you come forward? I'll be asking you in a few moments to come forward. Why you are going to come forward publicly? It's embarrassing. I don't want to be, uh, to be noticed by people. You know what? When Jesus died on the cross, he was almost bare and he was almost naked. His face you cannot recognize. The tawny crown pushed hard to his head. The blood dripping in every, every drop of that precious blood is saying to you, I love you, I love you, I love you with an everlasting love.